Now we're going to go through explaining part of it while we wait for it to react. What happens? Um, as you will see shortly, uh, when shaking the bottle chemicals, the color changes to blue. And as you let it sit, the bottle is going to turn back to a clear color. And why does this happen? What actually happens to it is it's a redox reaction. And a redox reaction or oxidation reduction reaction primarily involves the transfer of electrons between two chemical species and the compound that loses an electron is oxidized and is referred to as the reducing agent and the compound that gains an electron is reduced and is referred to as the oxidizing agent. Uh, in a redox reaction the oxidation number of the reactants change. And in the blue bottle experiment, um, the sugar, which is C6H12O6, donates electrons to the OH minus, which is the hydroxide. And uh, as you can see, the 12 from the H becomes an 8, and that's what's being reduced. And the OH turns into is oxidized to water and the chemical equation is below and you can see that the sugar loses, it goes from H12 to H8, it's working on it, <laughs> and loses, or reduces. And this redox reaction, reaction is what causes the <coughs> methylene blue to react and change the water back to blue whenever you shake it after it goes clear, but it takes a little while to go clear, but you can kind of see it's it's getting a little cloudier, lighter, but it takes a little while for it to go all the way back to clear, which it will do eventually. Eventually. Can you shake some more? That makes it go blue. Yeah, it's blue, Sam. <laughs> It's dissolving stuff right now. I can probably start while we wait for it to. It's still dissolving stuff. It's going. Oh, um, yeah, that, that was. Thanks. <laughs> did you well, no, Ryan, did, did you see the last slide? What's on there? Oh, yeah. I saw Paul's nice little thing to Paul who gave me his lunch deal. Yeah, it's still on there. I haven't touched it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's getting clear. <laughs> It just takes a while. It still, it still has a lot of uh, stuff to do. Yeah. But the, the top looks so clear. Can you see the difference? Ooh, it is darker. Clear. It's darker on the it's bottom. The, it's the solids that need dissolved. I think it's, it's primarily the hydroxide. A lot long. It takes a while to dissolve. Well, what we can do is go ahead and try the next part and 
it, just shaking, go back to blue yeah. to see how quickly it goes yeah. back to clear. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I don't you. know if you can see back there, but if you come up close, there's a lot of black solid on the bottom down here and a little bit of blue, but it turns clear in the middle. It takes a while for the solids to dissolve, but when you shake it back up, because of the redox reaction, the methylene blue turns it back to blue. And the longer you do it, the quicker the quicker it turns back to clear and back to blue because uh, the solids are more dissolved. So that is my thing. And to clean it up, you have to neutralize the solution uh, before you wash the product down the drain. And those are my works cited. And thanks to Mr. Helicelli for helping me figure out the chemical equation. Thanks. And Paul wanted to add his own thing because my PowerPoint wasn't working at home and I had to, I was going to have to write it on the board and Paul decided that he would type it for me. So he decided to write his own little <laughs> thing Paul spiel. All of your brains are not as large as mine. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs>